Standard four gas G2 calibration. Gas is needed, hydrogen sulfide, 25 parts per million. Carbon monoxide, 100 parts per million. Methane, 2.5% or 50% LEL. 100% methane. For propane customers, you will be required a 1.1 calibration bottle. The regulator for the 1.1 and the yellow cal adapter, and also the regulator for the hydrogen sulfide, carbon monoxide, 2.5 methane mix, and 100% methane, and the Sense of Gold G2. Start by turning the G2 on in a gas-free environment by pressing and holding the A button until the screen illuminates. As the instrument goes through its warm-up, it will display its date. If the date is incorrect, it must be corrected before calibration is performed. If the instrument was displaying CALDU, it would display for each individual gas. During auto zero, it will display passed or failed for each individual gas. If any of those indications are failed, allow the instrument to warm up for an additional five minutes and press and hold the save zero button, C button, until the screen displays auto zero. Once the instrument is warmed up for five minutes, go ahead and check to make sure we can get a flow block indication by putting your finger over the inlet A flow block message should be indicated within three to five seconds. If flow block cannot be achieved, remove the sensor cap by holding the black base and turning counterclockwise on the cap. Remove the large o-ring from the sensor base and the small o-ring from the inlet lure and replace with new o-rings along with the new sensor cap. Reinstall the sensor cap and check for a flow block. If the date was incorrect, we must reset the date before we perform calibration. To reset the date, press and hold the B button until the instrument displays user menu show time. Press the C button once, set clock will appear, and press the B button to select it. The first flashing segment will be the days. Since today is the 3rd of February 2014, we will leave it, but if it was wrong, You'd simply just press and release the B button until you scroll to the desired day. Hit your C. The month will start to flash. If the month is incorrect, press and release the B button until you reach the desired month. Press your C. The year will flash. If the year is past the current year, just press your A button with the year flashing and it will default back to 2009 and then press and release the B button until you get to the current year. Press and release the C. This will be your hours. To adjust that, just press and release the B button. Press and release the C. Your minutes will start to flash. Use your B button to set those. And your C button to the seconds. It's not very critical uh, where the seconds are. So once everything is set and correct, just press your A. 
two times, tags it back to the work display. Once the instrument has been running for five minutes, we're going to press and hold the C button until auto zero appears. Right before calibration, you always want to manually zero the instrument in a gas-free environment. Everything indicated pass. There are no fail messages on the screen, so let's proceed with calibration. Press and hold the B button until the instrument pops up user menu. Press and release the C button until Cal appears. Press and release your B button to select Cal. And the first screen there is Auto Cal. And this is what we're going to use. So what you're going to do is you're going to want to attach your regulator to your combo gas, your 2.5%, 50% LEL, methane, and 100 ppm CO bottle. Press your B button. And it will ask you to attach 2.5% by volume. And as you can see, you have 30 seconds to do so. So we're going to turn the regulator on, attach the hose to the inlet. Once the instrument detects that the gas is applied, it will start the calibration. Now note the numbers on the bottom are not actual gas readings. It's just raw output of the sensors. Two point five percent was okay. TC now it's doing fifty two point five percent by volume fifty LEL. Since we have a mixed bottle, it's automatically going to change over and it's going to detect that there is CO present. We refer to that as a combo gas bottle. And now it's going to ask you to attach hydrogen sulfide, 25 parts per million. So we're just going to unscrew the regulator. And attach our 25 parts per million H2S. And once again, uh, while it's calibrating H2S, uh, if it does fail to calibrate the H2S, uh, it's very rare for H2S sensor to go bad. They do go bad, but it is rare. 90% um, of the time, it is actually the bottle of hydrogen sulfide. Uh, so be sure to check the expiration date on that bottle and make sure that it is not expired. Now it's going to ask us to attach 2.5, or I'm sorry, it's going to ask us to attach 100% methane. Go ahead and disconnect the H2S. And hook up the 100% methane. And calibration is complete. Disconnect the hose from the inlet. Turn the regulator off. And press your A button until you get back to the work display. You can press your A button again to mute the alarms. Allow the instrument to clear and power the instrument down.
power the instrument off, just press and hold the A button until power off is displayed and release the button. To calibrate a standard G2 for gas for propane along with CO, hydrogen sulfide, press and hold the B button until user menu appears. Press and release the C button until it displays Cal. Press and release your B button. Attach the regulator to the bottle of 1.1% propane. And attach the Cal adapter to the regulator. Once the Cal adapter is attached, the gas will start to flow. Press and release the B button and it will ask you to attach 1.1% by volume propane. Now two calibrations will take place here. You see how it says propane TC? Once this one is good it will say OK and then it will move on to propane 1.1% by volume which is the LEL sensor. It's going to attach, ask you to attach 100 ppm CO, disconnect the 1.1, unscrew the cal adapter from the regulator to stop the gas from flowing. Attach your regulator to your bottle of CO, turn on the regulator, and attach the hose to the lure fitting. It's going to ask you to attach your H2S. Just disconnect your bottle of CO. Attach your H2S. And if you get a bad cow on the H2S, uh, you always want to check and make sure that the expiration date on the bottle, that the bottle is still good. Uh, if the bottle is expired, uh, there's a good chance that, that there is not enough hydrogen sulfide in there to calibrate to 25 parts per million H2S. Uh, it's very rare for an H2S sensor to go bad. They do go bad, but it's very rare. And that's it. Calibration is complete. Go ahead and disconnect the hose from the lure fitting. Turn your regulator to the off position. Press your A button twice. And allow the instrument to clear out. Just press the A button to mute the alarms.
And once you have allowed the instrument to clear for a few minutes, just press and hold the C button. Until Auto Zero appears. Everything is passed. Just press and hold your A button until the unit displays power off. Release the A button and calibration is complete. Now we're going to simulate a failed calibration. The instrument will stop and beep and display the failed message until a button is pressed. Once you press a button, it will move on to the next gas in the sequence. If you want to exit the calibration, you just simply press your A button until you go back to AutoCal. Any instrument that fails any part of the calibration should be taken out of service and contact Sensit if you have any questions.